Laughing by the Guess Who. Okay, really a dynamic, structured song here. Um, it starts off with this kind of real mellow, just semi arpeggiated with a uh, uh, kind of a ringing out note here in this in the chord throughout all of these uh, different chord changes here. Um, so it kicks off, and we just kind of do the bottom half of an A bar chord. Okay. So we're up here at the 5th fret on the B and E, and then 6 on the uh, G here. And like I said, you just you kind of want to just give it a really quick arpeggiation here, just from the G to the E. Just Okay, you don't want to just... You don't really want to hit them all at the same time, you just kind of just... Nice little 1, 2, 3 there. Alright, and once we get to that 5 on the E, we just keep, keep hitting that E about 3 more times, kind of just going with the tempo of the song. So it's like... One, two, three, four. Okay. And there's uh, a couple of them that are just alone. And then the vocal comes in. So technically we're going to do that three times. Two just by itself and then once with the vocal. Okay, so... Alright, after we do the first with the vocal, then we change it up a little bit. and Essentially we're just going to be adding a note. To each of these chords. Um, so now we do a A augmented, which from there we're just going to take our uh, ring finger and put it and make that 5 be a 6 on the B. Everything else stays the same. And we, you know, pick through it and strum it exactly the same way. We just kind of bumped a note up so that we're just kind of getting that escalation and then later on we're going to kind of uh, de escalate here. And then from there, of course, now we just take our ring finger and make that 6 on the B a 7. Okay, so now we have an A6 chord. Next, you guessed it, up to the 8 on the B for an A7. Okay, and from here it changes a little bit. We kind of jump out of our A, and now we go to a D. Uh, but we're going to do a D major 7, and, uh, you know, that bottom part of the D major 7 looks identical to uh, the A6. So it's kind of the same deal, but um, it, I recommend just putting in, like, an open D bass note with this one, just to kind of establish that it's not an A6 anymore, it's the D major 7. Okay, so we went from our A7 here. And then essentially we just take our pinky, move it back to that 7 on the B, but now we hit an open D with it. Okay. And now we do, uh, from the D major 7, we do a D minor 7. And here we kind of switch our position a little bit, because uh, we uh, now we change what we're doing on the G. Just make that a 5, so we're just barring it all 5s now, and just take that middle finger that was on the G, bring it down to the 6 of the B. So we got 5 G 6 B 5 E. And you can hit the, the open D with this one too because it's a D based chord. Alright and from there now we just come up here and we pick the middle of this uh, mid-range E chord here. So we just do some 9's on the D G and B. And we just kind of strum through that once and you know, let it ring. Okay, so we just put it all together now. After we get through that entire progression, okay, leading us into, um, I guess you could say it's the second half of the verse where, uh, you know, everybody else comes in and it's a little more uh, upbeat and all that. Um, we're just going to do a few strums on the E chord that we just kind of left off of. You can go ahead and put the 7 on the A bass note with it too, but it's like a, a, a specific strum. It's a 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Something like that. 
Okay, that kind of vibe. And that'll lead us into the more uh, fuller verse section there. All right, and once we get into the second half of the verse there, where all the instruments are in, um, it essentially becomes a two guitar arrangement. Um, there's one guitar that's just kind of hanging back, doing some little uh, accents and uh, little scales and whatnot. Um, essentially, it's just doing this, where uh, at the fourth count of each measure, okay, so not right off the bat here, we're just going to wait till the fourth count of the measure. It's just going to strum like a really quick, uh, you know, like bottom half of that A bar chord. Okay, so like the 70, 6G, and 5s on the B and E. And it's just a real quick kind of staccato uh, strum, just kind of a... All right. Like I said, it's just kind of hanging back, strumming that. And it's just sticking with that A chord all throughout the uh, progression. All right, and it does about six times. All right, and then it'll get uh, to this section where it leads, it's going to lead into the chorus, and it throws in this little scale. All right, so it's just going to be, uh, you know, we kind of wait a beat, and then we throw in a, a 4A, 2D, and 1G. All right, and then it would go right into the chorus chords. All right, and the, the second guitar, which is... Uh, pretty much just an acoustic guitar that's just kind of in the background there too. Um, it's essentially for this uh, second part of the verse, it's doing the same chords that were going on during the that intro and first part of the verse that was kind of that mellower, high-voiced section. Uh, they're the same chords, it's just you can switch down to more of a, a you know, a more natural kind of acoustic strumming style where we just here with some, some open style chords. So it would just be A chord. And you probably want to fret this more like, uh, not how you normally do, like or as I normally do like this. Do it with like your, your middle ring and pinky like this so that you have your pointer still available. Okay, so you hit that A chord, one measure. And the strumming on these, you can just be a little more kind of just generic acoustic style strumming just just kind of a shuffle strum, nothing wild. It's up to you. All right, so that's the A, and the next measure will be our A augmented. And here we just take our pointer and put it on the first fret of the E now, keeping that same exact shape. Because we just want that note, just this note essentially is just going to creep up. Okay, so, but we're just keeping that A formation. Okay, in the A6, which, you know, we're bringing that to second fret on the E now. And with this, you can just go ahead and change and just bar it. Basically, two all the way down on the D string and open A. Okay, now A7, which, you know, you can just throw the E, three on the E right there, and it's that worked just fine. Okay, we do our uh, D major 7 which I, you know, still looks a lot like the A6, but we just throw in a D bass note. So just seconds, twos on the uh, G, B, and E open D string here. Okay, D minor seven, which is just kind of like, take that E, move it down a fret to the one, two, two on the uh, G and B, open D. Almost like an A minor, but just down a set of strings. And then just finish on the E chord. Okay. And you know, if that intro section, you don't want to do exactly how the recording goes, and you just kind of want to do more of a solo acoustic style or something, you could probably just get away with doing this verse progression, and it'd probably sound nice. So uh, all together, it sounds something like this. Once we get into the chorus, uh, still kind of a two guitar arrangement. First guitar is just kind of 
chilling back and it's going to throw on some little like scaling kind of blues scaling things here um the first uh, couple of them are going to be the same um it just kind of it the uh the chorus is uh the first measure it's a three chord progression all in one measure and it kind of skips the first two beats that are two different chords which i'll show you later but so just wait a couple beats and then you throw in this little scale it's here on the D. We go two to four, just a hammer on. To two on the G. Go back to four on the D. Back to two on the G. Just a quick little thing. Okay, we're just gonna do it twice though. All right. Uh, so do it twice. Wait a measure. Just tass it, and then uh, we throw in this little scale here. Uh, at the end of it, all right. So once we get to that, f the fourth measure technically, it'd be two to four hammer on. Hit a two on the G. Four slide to six on the G. Back to four, and then we hit four D, and then we do two four two hammer on on the G. Back to four D. It's okay, so something like. Something like that, okay? All right, and you know, it doesn't have to be exact, you know, just something in that flavor. All right, and then uh, it kind of repeats with our, those initial little scales. Uh, but then once we get to where we would, we would do that uh, finishing scale, we just rest, okay? So uh, repeat the first two a couple times, rest a measure the uh, slightly more complex one, and then the initial two again, and then just rest. All right, and the uh, second guitar, doing just the straight up chords for the chorus here. Uh, like I said, the first uh, measure, which will be repeated twice, um, the first two beats are two different chords. It'll be a D to A. Okay, and the last couple beats will be a B minor strum. Okay. So it's just a real quick progression that just repeats twice. Okay, and then we get to this here where we spread it out a little more. We do a D for two beats, E for two beats, and we give an A uh, a whole measure to itself. Okay, and then we just repeat this progression. special note here uh, you know once we get to the final chorus which is basically the outro um, it just kind of uh, hangs on that D A to B minor and just repeats that all right and the only d other difference in the song here once we get to the very end the outro it's the chorus that's repeating and uh, the first guitar kind of throws in this new little scale uh, where it just comes up and it, uh, you know, waits, waits a beat and then it throws in this three, five to three hammer on, on the B. Okay. And then we kind of go back to our similar, uh, two, four hammer on, on the D to two G something like that. Okay. So just, thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.